Hi guys, I thought I'd do a quick review on this Hyper Touch 6.5 amp reciprocating saw. Um, I picked this up at Walmart and I actually bought it for my husband for um, his birthday. But decided to open it up today because we had some uh, limbs to cut. And I um, thought how great it really is. It, now this one has the cord, but there were ones that, um, that you could get was battery operated. But I chose this uh, corded one because um, we don't have a lot of use for it yet. But um, it's great to because it was cheaper too. So the cord, the battery one was, I believe, around eighty nine, and this one here was either twenty nine or thirty nine. Don't quote me exactly on the price, but I'm sure if you scan this here little barcode, you'll be able to tell how much it was. So when you open the package up. Of course, you get your manual. It tells you all about, you know, the things that you could do to get the things that you need to know about it. Okay. And then it also came with um, this little Allen wrench. Now, that is to open up so that there's uh, a place on both sides of this, whatever that's called. And you put the Allen wrench there and that kind of turns it. You know however which way you want it to go and it also came with one wood blade so then i picked up um this here pack you get nine piece uh blades now this is for everything from soft metal to wood um it tells you on here see the metals down here and then the wood blades here and you can get however long you want small now this pack here was $15, but I haven't opened it yet because I'm just using the blade that it actually came with. So I'm going to go ahead and take you outside now and I'm going to show you how it's working because uh, I like it. I like it a lot. So this is my first day using it and I, t I never, I didn't use this yet because I didn't really have to, but um, yeah, I'm going to just take you outside and show you what I'm doing. Okay, so here's the wood that I've been cutting. Uh, I save in these little sticks for tomatoes and whatever. But so we had tree branches that fell. And I figured what better way to use the saw than to chop this all up. And then we'll take it to our local transfer station. So let me get this camera here set up and then I'll show you exactly what I've been doing. Okay, so you see that branch right here? I'm using this branch here to um, sort of hold, you know, my limbs straight. And then I'm just doing, I'm just going to cut. So hopefully you guys can see this. And here's the blade that's on it. If you can see. All right. Now you want to steady it. Sort of like this. Sort of like this. You want to steady it. that just cut nice cut perfect cut the cord on it is pretty long so let me show you see that's what it looks like and here's the wooden blade and you see the mess I got going on here so I can do it with one hand I'm getting pretty good at it but the thing is is you want to kind of steady yourselves on um, bigger, thicker around branches because if you don't, it'll bounce. So like this little one, watch, I could just cut that right. Right off. But if, but you know, it can bounce around. So you have to be kind of careful and mindful of that as well. Okay. So I use this here piece to steady the branches as I cut. And then here too. See, if you can get your hand on something sort of solid, this way it doesn't bounce around. Otherwise, you want to hold here too. So you always want to hold here and hold here at the same time. Unless 
you find something solid to brace your stems on or your sticks, your limbs, whatever. Just like that. Looks easy. And anybody can do it, but like I said, if you don't if you don't steady yourself, you know, your thing's gonna bounce. You don't want it to bounce around. See, I can show you what I mean. Well, I guess I, that didn't work. <laughs> but you can cut them with, by hand like this. So you see all that vibration in the sticks? So if you brace it, you still have it, but you don't have um, too much. And it's good at cutting small things. Well, the little ones are, these are green, and these are pretty easy, too, to cut. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, I'm going to cut through these. Do you have but to change I, blades when you go to a thicker surface? Well, I don't know. I never tried that yet, but I could. There's a thicker one. I, I showed them in there. Uh -huh. um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this here for my brace. But when I'm all done, I'm going to cut these like sort of like this. I'm going to just try this. I'm not sure how it's going to work, but I'm going to cut some of this up to make sort of like Christmas ornaments that I could paint. And then I was thinking about taking some of the bigger ones and making like coasters and stuff. Because this wood is such a good wood. This is a white birch. And this has nothing to do with the review. <laughs> but that's what I'm no. planning on doing. I'm just telling you that this, are you showing the whole tool? Yeah, that, I will know. This, that this is a, a great product. I um, highly recommend it. What's the name again? This is a HyperTouch, and it's a, I showed them all inside. What type of saw is that? It's a compact reciprocating saw, 120 oh, volt. Let me get that. There you go. Steady. Yep. See everybody? I'm going to leave it for you. So. But yeah. that's all you got to do, and it, it's really working out. I've got myself bag a bag there. I've been putting the little sticks in, and i got some sticks here that I'm keeping. And I'm just working around here, and then I'll have this all cut up in no time. Great. I'm doing the little sticks like this, and I'm doing the big ones. Let me show you. I'll just cut a little piece of this off to make, show you how it works. I'm going to make big. a good coaster almost. <laughs> That's what I said. I'm going to make the coasters, but they're going to be over there because I want a bigger one. Small cup. So you hold it right there, okay? Yeah, I wonder if it's sticking out. Like this. Cutting down, cutting down more gives it so you're, you're not hitting it. There you go. Nice. Now you see that? That's a perfect little circle that I could potentially paint on or make little ornaments you just take a drill and drill a hole up in top and you can have yourself an ornament wow. for Christmas and give them out to your friends and family so I'm gonna go ahead and do that with this log I say that would have a be a size of a small coffee cup or coaster for a, you know uh, end table or something I don't know let's go try it. this is a little off the beaten path but let me show you so today we got a Dunkin' Donuts. So it's not quite the size for a coffee cup. Not this type anyhow. But it could be a little coaster. It's a little off level. <laughs> so I have to have a flatter, bigger piece. I just wanted to show you guys that how nice it, it okay, cut. So I'm back to show you how to change this blade. So this is the smaller blade. And I'm going to put in the larger blade now to see how it works. So basically, you see this little thing right here? You just turn it. Make sure you unplug your machine, which I did. You turn it like that, and then you just pull it out. And then to put the new blade in, it's the same thing. You see it? I'll show you. So there's this little thing right there. You just push it over to the left, and then put your blade right on in there. Yep, it's in there tight. 
and then there you go that's all you do to change the blade out I like to double check things so always I like to pull it out to make sure it's got in there tight okay that's all you do okay so now I'm gonna cut this bigger piece of a log with this bigger blade Let's see if I can there down a little further yep right there bouncing so I want to stop and I just want to see and it's moving so I'm gonna go ahead I freed it up a little bit and I want to see get the weight out because we don't want it to uh, to hurt it And it's just a little tiny bit left here. does work and it works pretty nice you cut right through there this is 6 TPI wood blade I, like I said I highly recommend this reciprocating saw well I got all that wood cleaned up that's the only thing that's left right there that little bit got the grass cut so it looks pretty good I put stem sticks in here for tomatoes um, as they get bigger this here wood I cut I'm thinking I might give to neighbors for their fireplaces we got some big sticks here that could go I don't know stake something up or just for decorations and then I cut all this so I'm thinking about making um, candle holders out of these and then thinking about um, painting these so the big ones could be like coasters and the little ones could be sort of ornaments so we'll see it's quite a lot of wood I done that's all yay Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos. Bye-bye.